Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and today I'm featuring teleporters as part of my Industrial Craft 2 tutorial. So, let's get cracking and build one real quick. Uh, first of all, I need to build a frequency transmitter. Um, there's going to be a need for a few of these, actually. They're really easy to build. It's actually just a pair of electronic circuits with a copper cable on top. That gives us a frequency transmitter. I'm going to go ahead and build two more right now, because these guys are actually components of the teleporter. And if you check out our recipe book here, you can see there's the teleporter. It's an advanced machine block with a frequency transmitter, diamond, some glowstone dust, and some copper cabling. So let's go ahead and craft it. A couple of diamond there, frequency transmitter, and there we are. Teleporter. And another teleporter. So, how do we use the teleporter? That's a really good question, and I'm here to show you guys exactly how it works. Uh, the teleporter cannot be wired to machines using wires. They actually need to be physically touching a storage unit, be it an MFSU or an MFE. Actually, I don't even know if it works on the MFE. I haven't tested it. I recommend using the MFSU simply because uh, the teleporter uses a lot of power, and the MFE may not be able to store enough power. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a Lapitron crystal in there that you just saw me create. The nice thing about TMI is it creates uh, fully charged crystals. Though I do not recommend uh, using TMI if you're going to play this game. It's a lot more fun without it. I'm um, just using it here as my tutorial purposes. And it looks like it's getting dark out, so why don't I go sleep through the night, and I will show you how to use teleporters. Okay, everybody, I've slept through the night here, and I'm ready to show you how to use teleporters. First off, you're going to want to place your teleporter right next to your MFSU. And you can see I've thrown some Lapitron crystals in here to charge it up. Um, this guy is going to draw its power directly from the MFSU, as I mentioned before, and it cannot be connected to cables. So you're going to have to have a dedicated MFSU that you either fill up with Lapitron crystals or that you have connected to some kind of power generation system. Okay. Um, the next thing you want to do is find a spot to put your destination teleporter. And as you can see, I've got an MFSU sitting over here, and I'll explain why I have one of those in a moment. But I'm going to go ahead and place down, just so I can place this guy, the teleporter, right on top of that MFSU. Okay? And this guy also has some power. Now, I'm going to take that frequency transmitter that I made earlier, and I'm just going to walk over to my first teleporter and right-click on it. You can see now that the frequency transmitter has been linked to this teleporter. That's good. We're going to head over to our destination teleporter and right-click on it. The teleportation link has been established. Now this teleporter is linked to that one and vice versa. I'm going to go ahead and place down a gold block. This doesn't have to be a gold block. In fact, it doesn't have to be anything. The way to activate your uh, teleporter here is with a redstone signal. I'm only using a gold block so that it's obvious how this works. I'm just placing a button on this guy so that you can see that pushing the button will activate a redstone signal which will activate the teleporter. So let's give it a shot. As you can see, it looks like it didn't work. Sometimes this doesn't work. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but I'll show you how to fix it if it doesn't work. Um, go ahead and take your uh, frequency transmitter in your right hand here and just right click on nothing, and you'll see the frequency transmitter has been unlinked. So it kind of resets your frequency transmitter. Now just create the connection again by right clicking on this guy, and then right clicking on this guy. In fact, I'm sorry, you want to pick up your teleporters first, lay them back down, make sure your frequency transmitter is clear, and then right click on the first, and right click on the second. Now let's give this a shot by standing on our teleporter here, you can see we're far away from the cabling system, and we'll activate the button. We've teleported over to our cabling system. If we activate this button, we've teleported away again. So, like I said, not sure why it doesn't seem to work on the first try. Maybe I did something wrong the first time through, I'm not really sure, but that's how you fix it if it doesn't work. And these two teleporters are now linked. Um, and they just need to receive a redstone signal in order to activate, which is cool. Um, it also appears that you don't need to be directly um, on top of the teleporter to get teleported. So let's see, I'm about two blocks away now. If I activate it, nothing happens. But if I get a little bit closer, 
and activate it. You can see I got sent away. So you don't need to be standing directly on it. You can also have a stable redstone signal, maybe using a lever. So that your teleporter is always active. I don't believe it draws power. It does not. But when you get close, it's going to send you away. And what I have, about 1.33 before, now I've got about 1.26. So it used about 70,000 um, units of energy. The cool thing about this is that your teleportation is based upon the amount of items you have in your inventory. So if I clear out my inventory and teleport now, we'll see that I only used about 30,000. So significantly less. Um, if I go with a bunch of items here, I used about 60,000. So it's dependent on the amount of items you have, how much energy is used. And then turn off the power. So that's Teleporters. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps you guys to build some of your own. They're a lot of fun and a lot of cool things you can do with them. Uh, take it easy and I'll talk to you all later.